as much as I enjoyed this Nintendo Direct, it was quite underwhelming. And you're all like, what? What are you talking about? They showed all these great games, games to, aren't you an old head? I understand that. But like I said, I'm trying to speak in regards of the new games that Nintendo got coming out. And to be honest with you, they really didn't show any, man. I mean, Stalker looked pretty impressive. I mean, we got Capcom Fighting Collection 2. But a lot of this is third party. Castlevania, if you're an old school gamer, oh, you're having a blast right now, man. Project Justice, Power Stone, all with online play. Capcom versus SNK, man. Capcom has knocked it out of the park. And we already know that these games are skipping Xbox, but it's fine. I'll just continue to play the games through dev mode or play these games on my Nintendo Switch. But what really got me was the fact that Capcom, why are you releasing the digital release one month before your physical copy? It's like you want people to double dip. It's like you want people to buy the digital version because they're trying to impo- they can't wait for this game. And then you know these same people are gonna go pick up the physical version. Because that's more likely what I'm going to do. So, essentially, you would have gotten $40 out of me. But now you got 80 But I'm not complaining because a lot of the games that you showcase are quite expensive on original hardware, which I do own currently. So, like I said, man, I guess it's a win-win for everybody. Castlevania. These were great games for all those old school gamers out there that don't think that they're even being thought about. But besides that, that's where it ends. You people were, oh, it was a great Nintendo Direct. It really wasn't. I mean, if you take all these third-party games, which are more likely going to drop on PC and PlayStation, what did Nintendo really show? You're like, oh, you know what, GameStop? That's actually quite a good point. I didn't think about that. Y'all want me to get excited? I have to look at things legitimately here. I can't just use my, you know, 1990s agendas, you know, like the rest of these content creators to say that it was the greatest Nintendo Direct. I still think that this pales in comparison to what Xbox showed. And I'm not trying to make it a competition because Xbox showed new games, Perfect Dark, Gears E-Day. They showed new games. Now, as much as I love these game titles, I'm not trying to downplay it, but I've already played these games already. You feel me? You know, like I'm going to be looking forward to playing these games on my Nintendo Switch with the online play with Power Stone. But still, I've already enjoyed these games for the past 20 years. Absolutely incredible. Woo! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Let's go! Well, they even threw Capcom Fighting Evolution. Wow. You know, for all the people that wanted to buy these games for their game collection, now look at it. You don't even need to do that now. Take your dream cash, trade it. There's no, there's no reason to hold on to your old consoles anymore, man. Because Capcom has got your back. Look at this. Plasma Sword, bro. Star Gladiator. Wow. Unbelievable, bro. Capcom versus SNK, man. Look at all these classics. Wow, bro. Power Stone, man. Oh, my God. Bro, you know what, Sega? You can learn from this, okay? Sega, you need to get with the program, man. As much as I love you, man, just like Capcom, get with the program. Do like a Sega Saturn or a Dreamcast collection, man. Follow in the footsteps of Capcom. Because this is what we wanted to see for Sega for quite some time, but all they want to do is keep throwing the same Genesis games. No! You know, Sega, you need to do something with this, man. Because, I mean, I, I'm very happy that Capcom is doing this, but we need to see more companies doing it, like Konami. Throw a Castlevania. Well, they have, but I'm saying of their 3D games. Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Castlevania, the ones that came on PS2. It's about time, man. Make these games playable for everybody. You feel me? On a modern platform. Now, let's look at all the games. Worms Armageddon, that's a classic. I remember playing that on the Dreamcast. Disney's Epic Miggy. I'm not, like I said, it's an old game. Yakuza, come on. I mean, yes, yeah, okay. Rune Factory, oh, five nine. That's what I'm saying. Look at it. Besides the classic games here, look, Castlevania, of course. Dragon Quest, of course. So look, this, especially. Come on, man. It's just really these games that stood out, man. I'm going to be honest with you. All this other stuff they had... What's the other one? Star Star Overdrive. 
yeah, it looked good. I did see some performance issues with the game, but still, it wasn't like, oh, I got to get me a Nintendo Switch for it, right? Metal Slug, I mean, come on. These, these, these were the only games that was really outstanding with the showcase, personally, for me, that is. You know, I mean, everything else looks like trash. Yep, SpongeBob. I mean, yeah. And then, oh, no, it ends there. So at the end of the day, they definitely showed more than Sony, but a lot of Nintendo guys are going to run with this and say, look, PlayStation, you don't have, what do you mean? There's not one Nintendo exclusive here. So as much as you people want to downplay that they showed Marvel, Capcom's, arcade collections, collections through Nintendo's Direct, it's still underwhelming. I mean, look at it. Besides these two, right? And this, and this for some people, Castlevania, that's about four or five good, well, actually it's more than four or five games. These are like eight good games, eight good, that's like 16 right there. You got two, that's 20. So people's like, look, Gabe, that's a lot of good games there. What do you, 21, but none of them are new though. None of them are really that new. Where's the Nintendo IPs? There's there's not no Nintendo IP here. Do you see what I'm saying? But let's check out this trailer. Okay. Looks decent. That's something that I'm looking forward to, but it looks decent. That Stalker, yeah, I'll probably more likely buy. Hopefully, it comes on a physical copy. i like to see a physical version of this game. That's a good game, too. Like I said, for the old school gamer, man, it this is perfect. You know what I'm saying? You get a chance to relive your childhood, but this doesn't do anything for the future of video game and the fact that we have to relive our past again shows you how bad gaming has become these are great games by far worms armageddon is amazing hopefully it has online play too i don't care about all that crap and that's it see ah man you could tell that a lot of these games are having performance options uh performance issues look i can already tell and I know that game is probably coming on multiple devices. Uh, yeah. Really think about it, guys. Really think about it before you start claiming that it was better than the Xbox Showcase. Because it it wasn't. It really wasn't, man. They didn't really show it. Oh, of course, they got to throw Lego Horizons at the end. Hey, Sony, we got your games. It just goes to show you that exclusives don't even matter, man. Your games are going everywhere, bro. And that's why I try to tell you guys, just enjoy games. I'm going to be enjoying that Capcom fighting collection. I'm going to be enjoying playing Power Stone with my friends. So, like I said, man, reap the benefits, man. These are great games. This is coming from an old school gamer. This was perfect for the old school gamer, okay? Now, if we're talking about in regards to the new, I'm going to say, man, this is, this is definitely... D, d, uh, I would say a D, bro. A D plus. You're like, what? Come on. Man. It's a D plus. Y'all want to sit there and say it was the greatest? It, it's not, though. <laughs> Most of these games are coming to other platforms. None of these games are actually real Nintendo exclusives. I hate the breakage. And I, I'm not mocking the fact that they're not real Nintendo exclusives. I'm just saying it doesn't make this Nintendo, alleged Nintendo Direct feel so special. You feel what I'm saying? Xbox, you're getting new games, bro new titles i'm not saying they're not focusing on old titles either but these are new games new games for people to look forward to you feel me now if you're nostalgic and you got that nostalgic fix fix well guess what nintendo and i guess somewhat a playstation they got your back in that regard but it also shows you where gaming is really heading to the fact that they have to depend on 20 year old listen to what i'm saying 20 year old games okay to, to essentially have a good Nintendo Direct showcase. To me, that's embarrassing, man. You know what I mean? They should have showed that, and then Nintendo should have showed something that they were working on. How about that Metroid Prime 4, right? Didn't that game get announced? Didn't, you know what I mean? They didn't even show no... That's why I have no faith in that game, man. Metroid Prime 4 is going to be garbage, bro. I can tell you it's going to be trash. Because Nintendo's not showing... They don't, they don't care enough to show you any more of the gameplay. Like, this was all nice and dandy, but at the same time... I picked up the Nintendo Switch for Nintendo Switch games. You feel me? You know what I mean? Y'all like, oh, man, D-plus is a little too harsh, man. I don't care what you people have to say because at the end of the day, I know what I'm talking about. And Xbox has had the best showcase. Nintendo, 
Yours is good. It's not bad. You showed a lot of great games, but these are games that people have already played, especially for an old, out of apparently out of touch retro gamer. I know this is going to hurt a lot of people's feelings because people told me that I should talk about this, but I'm trying to be as realistic as possible. I'm not like all these other content creators that want to run with narratives. Oh, look at that. They throw old games. I'm going to go give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's a 10 out of 10 in my old school gaming heart, but when it comes to the new, this is really a D plus, man. And y'all know it's a 5 out of 10. Y'all know this. It's a 5 out of 10. You know, old school gamer, 10 out of 10. New age gamer, five, probably a four out of 10 for them. Okay? There's really nothing for them to look forward to. And you people know that, man. Put your biases aside and start rating things correctly. Thank you. Hopefully, every, hopefully everybody has a nice day. Peace out.